this is day one of the REACH campaign. Day one has been so great. We've been able to raise almost nine Bible listening groups for day one. We just want to say a big thank you to all of you who have been supporting, giving, those of you who are considering to give. We are even saying thank you to you. We know that the Lord himself will shower you with the blessings that you need to be able to send us to the unreached areas with God's word in their heart language. God richly bless you and stay tuned for the REACH campaign. Really can we do anything without Jesus? He's our light. He's our life. He's our hope. He's the one who holds us when everyone leaves us. Good afternoon to you and thank you so much for tuning in to Positive Soul Food on Sunny 88.7 FM. My name is Bob Okran and I'll be with you from now to 2.05. As usual, we'll have our faith confession at 12.45 and then at 1 p.m. we have quick business with Odelia and Tiamo and then 1.15 we have PS7 inspiration. And today is day 10 of the REACH campaign. And just in case you're enjoying the songs and you say, you're saying to yourself, what is this rich campaign? You just tuned in and you're like, what is this rich campaign all about? That Sunny has been telling us and telling us and telling us. Well, you get to find out if you're new. But if you're not new and you actually want to, you know, give to support this rich campaign but you keep missing the numbers just in case the number again is 0246 0246-292-091 and you say Baba I have with a phone cash can I give Yes, you can. And it's 0200. 0200-118-887. 020. 0200-020, actually. So 0200-118. 887 These are the numbers you can send your donations to We can't live a day without Jesus And speaking of Theovision I have my in the studio so we'll just get talking and talk about Theovision So hey good afternoon mommy Good afternoon Baba How are you I'm good and you I'm fantastic thank you so, mommy, I just somebody just tuned in and say, uh, "This people are just talking about this theovision. What is this thing all about, mommy? Please tell us what theovision is about, and then this rich campaign that we've been, you know, hammering it in their ears. <laughs> what is it about? Please tell us this afternoon." Okay, so good afternoon to your listeners, and um, today happens to be day ten of the rich campaign. Yes. And for someone who just tuned in and you're hearing about REACH campaign, you're hearing about Peer Vision International, um, I'll give a brief um, overview of what Peer Vision International is, then we can talk about the REACH campaign. So um, Peer Vision International is a Christian nonprofit uh, organization that seeks to transform lives with the Word of God. And we do this by using what we call the audio Bible. So for us, um, we noticed that the Bible has been translated into so many languages across Africa. However, um, especially this part of Africa, it is a predominantly oral culture. So not many people know how to read or write. So although the Bible has been translated into so many languages, people are still not able to read. So that's where Theovision came, um, came in and decided that we would... Um, 
convert the Bible which has already been translated into audio form- mm. format, okay. record it onto an audio playback device so that people will be able to hear the word of God in their own mother tongue. Mm. And this is what Pure Vision has been doing for the past 33 years, or okay. almost 33 years. And across Africa alone, we've been able to record the Bible in 462 local languages okay. across 36 African countries. And in Ghana alone, we've been able to record um, 43 of uh, the 60 major languages that we have here in Ghana. And, okay. Uh, that's what we do as Theovision. And once we record the Bible in uh, the local language, what we do is we go back to these communities mm-hmm. and establish what we call the Bible listening groups. So okay. Bible listening groups are essentially um, people within a community coming together. Mm-hmm. They gather around um, the audio Bible. And then they listen to the audio Bible. After that, they discuss what they've heard um, and then try to apply it to their lives. And um, these Bible listening groups have brought a lot of transformation in the lives of the people that are involved in it. Mm. As well, um, there are so many impact stories that we have. Um, transformation individually, mm-hmm. transforming communities, mm. transforming churches, transforming mm. people in general, mm. just because... They are hearing the word of God in their own mother tongue. Sometimes you go to communities where there are elderly people who have never heard the name Jesus Christ, but with the help of the audio Bible, they come to know that there is someone called Jesus Christ who speaks their language and they are saved instantly. So this is what the Vision International is all about. And the REACH campaign is a partnership between PO Vision and Sunny 88.7 FM mm-hmm. to raise funds to establish these Bible listening groups. So we, st- we started this campaign in 2019. And okay. so far from 2019 to 2022, we've been able to raise funds to establish 800 Bible listening groups wow. across Ghana. Thanks Thank to you. Sunny Thank you so much, Sunny FM, FM listeners. listeners. Yes. So we are back again this year. Uh, to raise funds for 300 Bible listening groups. Okay. And so far, today happens to be day 10. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll just give a a brief overview of what we've been able to achieve so far with this year's uh, REACH campaign. So from day one that we started, which was first March, up until this morning, Mm -hmm. we've been able to raise funds for 72 Bible listeners. Wow. Thank you. And all because of Sunny FM listeners. Thank you so much. Sunny FM listeners have done such an amazing job supporting Mm -hmm. the Reach Mm -hmm. campaign. Yeah. um, And ensuring that the word of God will be able to reach more souls as we intend for it to. So right now, we are left with 228 groups to go. Okay. Our target, which was 300, is now 228. Okay. So this afternoon, the afternoon show, we are hoping to raise funds for four more Bible listening okay. groups. Okay. Uh, four more Bible listening groups. Okay. And someone is probably wondering, so, okay, how do I become part of this Bible listening But group? first, let's talk about what um, Bible group, how much, how much yes. one goes for you know yes yeah. if you are wondering how much it costs for one bible listening group and um, the cost is 4270 ghana cities okay 4270 ghana cities. okay and with that you can send in any amount that you're attached to give okay your 10 cd or 50 cds your 100 cds whatever that you are attached to give mm-hmm. you can definitely send it and you can send it to the mtn mobile money number which is 0246 mm. 292 mm-hmm. We also have a Vodafone cash number, which is 0200-118-887. Thank you, Mami. But uh, let me play an audio Bible for you, just in case it's your first time and you're wondering, how does this audio Bible in our your mother tongue, our various mother tongues sounds like. How does it sound like? So I'm going to play one, um, Romans 10, uh, verse 14, in Kamsim. Is it? Is, uh, did I get Kasim. Kasim. Okay. Kasim language and also in Ga. So that you get to have a feel of what this audio Bible is all about. And I'm sure when you have a feel of it, you understand why we need to actually do this for those out there to also appreciate the word of God and be transformed. I will be right back. <laughs> Bawana 
banawo wani bani onwa yi no 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 wotai otani obrebana fite afete ni ameabu ameche moni amehukule ameyekule nti afete ni amahi moni amenuku yesanele ameye ni asante afete ni amanu ke shelo ko bele theovision when you hear the name theovision you do get visions of the word of god visions of people gathered in villages in some of the most remote areas listening to the word of god what marvels me is how they are able to do so much with so little it only takes god and willing people for this tremendous action to be taken that is why we have to join your vision Ghana has 60 languages and already two thirds that is 40 languages have already got bibles in this voice box let's join your vision in these end times great harvest so that this very ripe harvest will be reaped and the lord jesus will have cause to say well done to his faithful people you and me and your vision working together yes we are forgiven jesus there is therefore now no condemnation those who are in Christ Jesus who do not walk according to the dictates of the flesh but according to the dictates of the spirit positive soul food right here on sunny 88.7 fm remember that the number you can send in your little contribution to support this reach campaign is 0246 292 091 0246 292 0910 or 0201188870201188877 Who am I that she will love me so I've wronged you so in many things I do Who can help me up where I found myself You still my favorite is what I hear you say You are all I know to me my hands and praise i bow my knees to worship i give my heart to love you lord the bread of life is who you are to me the all sufficient life giver Many things you do the lover of my soul Yes I sing to you you are all I need you are all I know to me I will praise your name 
Your glory is untouchable Lord be lifted up for the world to see Make your glory known This is what that says This is what I need in the blood of his sacrifice and so we are clean whatever the enemy is throwing at you you are clean don't look at your past what you have done wrong what you didn't do in the eyes of your father so long as you are in him you are clean. I know you say that you have no idea the things I've done in the past. Are you in Christ Jesus? If you are, then you are clean. That's the beauty about God. He sees us in the love with the love of the eyes of love. So you are clean. Positive Soul Food right here on Sunny 88.7 FM. And uh, I will be calling a donor from um, through Vision, Theo Vision, to share with us um, how the journey has been being a, a partner, donor, how is, it has been for her. And so, any moment from now, I will be talking to uh, Mrs. Juliana Danso. Is it Beidu or Badu? Beidu, okay. I will be talking to her any moment from now. So it's uh, Mrs. Juliana Danso Beidu. And so I have her on the line. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. How are you doing, please? I'm fine, thank you. Awesome. Um, so today I have you on the spot. I want to find out from you as a donor. Um, how did you even hear of Deal Vision to, be, to even consider yourself to say that I want to be a donor? Okay, so I heard about your vision to um, a, a couple and a family friend. Oh, okay. Okay. And uh, how long has it been since you you became a, a donor, actually? Since 2011. That's about 11 years, I guess. Oh, that's a very long time. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so, I mean, from that period, 11 years now, how has it been for yeah. you being a donor? Share with us. Okay. Um, I think that your mission is in God's business. Okay. Uh, for me, what attracted me to your vision is the fact that when we go on evangelism and we meet people who mm. can't read the Bible, it makes my heart. Mm. And I kept asking, how can we reach out to people like this? Because mm. reading the Word of God is the only way you can grow. Mm. Yeah. So now, I, when I heard about Seal Vision, I was excited. It's like a prayer come true. Mm. And so I said, why do you want to meet this? And mm. that's been the journey. Mm. Mm. So um, you, I, I like the fact that you said that 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 was your prayer because that's actually a challenge for everyone when you go on so winning and then you find people who cannot read, you know, and no. and yet uh, you have to give them probably a track or something, and you know that they're yeah, not exactly. going to read the track; they are going to throw yeah, it I somewhere because pro- yeah. most of some of them can't even read, and so that's a challenge. But I want to find a f- from you. Yes, this this was the reason. But why do you still keep giving to your vision? 
Was, that was a dream. Why am I so? Well, yeah, why do you still support the vision? Is there something they are doing right aside the fact that, okay, they, are, they, they have these audio Bibles that, that's preaching to you? Is there anything else? Is there anything else that pushes you to give to them, be, continue to be a donor all this while? Because some people will start the journey and will leave along the way. But what, what, what happened with you? Why are you still consistent? So for me, um, Jesus said, you know, be about our father's business in Luke 2.49. Mm. And this is father's business to make sure everybody gets to hear the word. Mm. My second motivation is in Matthew 9.39. Mm-hmm. Where it so says that the harvest is plenty and the laborers are few. Mm. So by sowing to steel vision, you get to become a laborer in the vineyard. You get to put the word of God hands of people. Mm. Um, my other motivation is, is a visit we went to at um, Chitre. It's about an hour and 30 minutes from Adina. Mm. Um, we went into one of the villages to have an experience of what it looks like because when you sit back and you hear that few people giving and um, doing audio Bibles, mm-hmm. even if you are hearing it on radio, it's different. Okay. So we took this gym um, mm. after work yeah, because they go to their accounts and they come back late. Mm-hmm. And we got to the village. It's just about nine, 30 minutes back from mm-hmm. Medina. So we got there. These farmers, she's a farmer. They were pineapple farmers. They came back from their farming mm-hmm. and then they ate their dinner and then they sat um, in a circle around the Puklima. Mm. And they didn't have light. There are no lights in that area. Oh, wow. So they came with their lantern mm. and they sat by the proclaimer and others, others from the villages came. And then we did the Bible to sing to them, mm. with them together. Mm. And you should see the excitement mm. on their faces. Mm. The joy. They were so excited. And when they finished, they were sharing. I didn't even understand the language, but the people were so excited. And then we asked them, and then they were sharing what they said and what they um, discussing what they had. Okay. And for me, every time I remember that smile, wow. it gives me another. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, you saying this, what would you like to say? Because Reach has started, the month of March is. Um, month for reach campaign and there are people who are listening who are contemplating hey should i give should i not give where's my money going to you have been a donor all this while what would you want to tell them okay so once upon a time i was like you (laughs) and i'm very careful where i invest or put my money because i'm a business person okay now your vision they have integrity they are open they are organized. You receive great reports, periodic, quarterly, yearly reports. Wow. You get to get reports, field reports. If they need prayer requests, it's to be sent. They, they are like an open book. You, you mm-hmm. are given an opportunity. Mm-hmm. Occasionally, you see what your money is doing out there, what the France is doing. So they give you the opportunity to go with them, even on the trips, if you wish, so wish. And if you can make the time, I think that every even if you're a donor and you've never gone on a trip, please go on a trip with them. <laughs> Schedule it for this year and go on a trip. It changes your perception okay. about giving. It changes your perception about the Bible listening group. And it changes the perception about what they are doing because you see the sacrifice that goes into the work. It's not easy for them at all. Because wow. I've done I've done a and I, I'm not even eager to do more because the sacrifice that goes with it is a whole day thing. Sometimes mm-hmm. you're traveling out and sometimes it's more than three hours drive and mm-hmm. it's, it's a whole mm-hmm. They are committed and for me, it's the commitment to the work that propels me on. Thank you so much, uh, Mrs. Juliana Dansubedu for um talking to us this afternoon i know that whoever is listening actually has been touched by what you said such an eye-opener thank you so much you're welcome 
Thanks for having me. You too. Thank you. Mommy, that being said, please give the numbers out because this one is a whole eye open on its own. <laughs> I, I believe for me, it's it's a different feel when you have an experience to share. Yes. Because sometimes when somebody is telling you something, mm -hmm. it's different till when you encounter it yourself yes. and then you know that, hey, this thing. And I like the fact that she said that she's a businesswoman. She has to calculate where her money is exactly. going to. And so for her to say that, hey, and be consistent for 11 years, 11 years. that is something else. Mommy, please give the numbers out. Okay. So if you would also be, want to be part of the Pure Vision family and help us spread the word of God, across the nations you can send your donation this afternoon to the ntn mobile money number 0246 292091 0246 292091 you can also send it to the vodafone cash number 0200 118 887 887. Thank you so much, Mommy. And again, in fact, I know Mommy just mentioned the number, but I, I really, we need you to support this because this is God's business. And you know, one of the things that um, uh, I was listening to Bishop Ose to preach, and he says that the heart of God is so winning. Mm. God is passionate about we we winning. So He's so passionate because it is not His desire that anyone should perish. You know, and so imagine somebody who is out there. It's not as if the person says, I don't want God. Mm. They've never even heard of They've this God. They've never even heard of God. And yes. Most, most of the time, the stories we encounter mm. or the stories that the field um, team members encounter when they go to the field. Okay. They were born into, you know, other re religions. They've been born into other faith. Mm -hmm. They've never heard the name Jesus Christ. So you presenting jesus christ to them and saying oh there's someone who mm -hmm. created the world who came to die for our sins it's like foreign news to them mm -hmm. but then you present the audio bible to them they hear it for themselves yeah they hear you know the story about jesus christ in their own language their too own language mm -hmm. hearing it he came on earth he came to die for our sins now we are forgiven you just have to have faith that alone starts to give them hope. Yeah. To build their faith. Yeah. You know, the transformation begins. Mm -hmm. So it's very important that everyone is given the opportunity. It's not like they, they we, are, we just do the audio Bibles mm -hmm. and give them. We mm -hmm. have to send it back to the people yeah. and give them the opportunity yeah. for them to hear the word of God yeah. in their own mind before it's too late. Yeah. I like the fact that you say opportunity because some um, opportunity for them to choose whether they want to be yes. with Christ yes. or it's not. To them to yes, they it's a different thing if the person saying I don't want to be with Christ. They've heard about it and they don't want to be with yes. Christ. But in this situation, they've never heard of they've this Jesus. Of they've never heard of this Jesus, and I cannot if, even for me as a person. It's so heartbreaking to hear that somebody has not heard of this person mm. that I can choose to go to church on Sunday to listen right. about. I can choose to read my Bible yes. or I can choose to listen to someone online. It's I choose to do it or not. It. So how much more Jesus? Right. It's if I am I, I am heartbroken by it and Jesus he he's just broken mm. totally because his love for us is even deeper than what we give. Yes. You know, so please wherever you are whatever you have on your mobile money think of that person it doesn't need to be a relative it just doesn't need to be a relative somebody you know you, you don't even need to like the person but yeah you don't need to like the person one time a pastor said god has commanded us to forgive he didn't say that when you forgive you should best friends right yeah right. so you you just need to send whatever you have so that that soul can be won mm anybody and before i end up this dropped in my spirit it's funny how in this life we always meet people even when we we never even thought that okay this thing that there's a higher chance that you might meet this person right. again i today on my way to work i met this woman and we could, i could tell that she was angry i just decided she, she wanted to take her frustration on me i just decided to just ignore a few hours down the line i meet her again say ah i know you i met you this morning <laughs> And you never know when you're going to meet that person yeah. who will say that, hey, you gave to Theovision. I, I was saved because of Theovision. My right. father was saved because right. of Theovision. Right. And it's because of you. So please, whatever you have, mommy, please give the number again. Okay, so you can send your donations this afternoon to the MTN mobile money number 
091 and you can also send it to the Vodafone number 0200-118-887 Thank you so much, Mommy. We'll positive so food right here on Sunny 88.7 FM. We will take um, a testimony, actually, of a person who actually received the audio Bible and his life has been transformed. And this is what your money is doing. It is transforming life, drawing lives to Christ. So let's just listen. And then when we come back, we'll get talking to Stephen on that one. Well, you know, Joseph was a uh, first he's fresh. He was doing this for about 10 to 15 years before he listened to the audio. Uh, sometimes when people came to him like that, they ask of their stars and see what is wrong with them. Sometimes when people are fighting for a land, they go there and he will solve problems for them. When he listened to the audio, he realized that when he followed Jesus, it's better than the first way. He came and realized that, no, you have to start going to church. So on Sundays like this, he will be the first person who will come and uh, sweep the uh, compost or in uh, the chapel. When people are not ready, he will follow them to their house and call them, oh, it is time. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? I'm very happy about this man when he listened to the audio bible his life changed a lot people in the community even testified that yeah he changed a lot and through his listening a lot of people even come to the audio lesson i would like to thank god for what he has done to our community for bringing the Theo vision bible discussion in this town May God help those people who are not listening to the audio to listen to understand what is going on. So uh, I thank God. It is so emotional and yet beautiful at the same time. It, I, I'm just lost for words. I just, I'm just so emotional about it. And I have um, Stephen here with me. Stephen. Uh, tell us about this man and you know the encounter with him with your vision uh, the first time when he had it was he you know it was it easy for him to accept and how was it like please yeah so this man was speaking on behalf of a fetish priest who had died oh yes so this community is in the volta region and the man he was talking about is a fetish priest in the community who people used to come with various problems and he was known i mean within his community and in the neighboring towns so when the audio bible went there and he heard it hmm. apparently he hadn't heard the gospel i mean no one had oh, wow. come to preach the gospel to him because even the churches in the area were I don't know, afraid of him, sort of. So, oh. But the way the audio Bible is, it's open mm -hmm. to the whole community. And he started listening, and eventually he gave his life to Christ. And according to the people, he will be the first person to come to the church, come and arrange the chairs. And when he realizes that people are late, he will go to their houses <laughs> and go and call them wow. to come to church and sadly after just two weeks of giving his life to christ he passed away wow yes it's it's it's, uh, it's sad but it's also um encouraging that he had the opportunity to give his life to christ before he died yeah <sighs> this is i don't even know what to say He heard the gospel, and two weeks after he 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 died. Yeah, he he died. gave his life to Christ. Two weeks after he died. Yeah. But what makes me excited is that 
at least he had the gospel. At least he had the gospel. And then he gave his life to Christ. And this is what your monies are doing. You never know how this life is. You never know who needs the gospel at this point in time. This point in time. Imagine if the audio Bible was not sent there. He would have died in his yeah. sin. Yeah. And we will be here in Accra, just here, enjoying our little comfort zone. Yet, this man, God needed him to be saved. And that two weeks, even with that two weeks, he was very active for God. Yes. I mean, the whole community, he impacted the whole community. People were surprised why he was so poised and so, you know, on fire. I mean, he, when it's time for the Bible listening, he will go and arrange the chairs. He will prepare the wow. place. I mean, and go and call the people to come and listen to that it's time for the Bible listening. And everybody was like, this man, he just, you know, gave his life to Christ. Mm -hmm. And why is he so much, you know? He's passionate but his, about it. Yeah, God made sure that his impact was felt in the mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. before calling him. And it is amazing. Mommy, please give us the number. Okay. Yeah. Before I give the number, let's just give a quick uh, thank you to um, Stephen, Mercy, Celestina, Rosemary, Mabel, Beauty, Marjorie, and Toa. Um, right now, we are 237 Ghana cities for the afternoon show. Okay. We are still working our way to our first Bible listening group for okay. the afternoon. We are left with 4,000 more to hit our first Bible listening group. Okay. And you can keep sending your donations to the MTN mobile money number, which is 246 292 zero nine one zero two four six two nine two zero nine one or you can send it to the Vodafone cash number zero two zero zero one one eight 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 seven zero two zero zero one one eight Eight, eight, seven. Thank you, mommy. And so, if you are contemplating whether or not to give, this is somebody's life who was transformed because he had the audio Bible. And just two weeks, two weeks after, he was called. And so, imagine if he hadn't had the audio Bible. There are so many souls perishing in hell, so many of them. And some of them is not because they choose to be there, because uh, we, some, we go out, we are giving tracts and all that, but we, we haven't even asked ourselves, can these people even read? Can they even read? And you know, when, when I was talking to the donor, it just hit me that honestly, when I give tracts to people, have I ever asked, can this person read? Exactly. I mean, even those of us who read, you know, me, before I came to the Lord, I would receive such tracts in the, you know, trot and by the roadside, and mm -hmm. I will just fold it and mm -hmm. put it somewhere mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know because um it takes a lot of commitment even those for um, those of us who can read yeah. most of us now prefer to to listen yeah you know I mean? so you read realize that even now most of the youth are gravitating towards audio books yeah you know, yeah audio things that are you know who, they can listen they to can it listen, and yeah. they are on the go so um most people are, are, are giving information through the print media mm -hmm. and about 70% of, of Africans prefer, you know, to, to listen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we are oral learners. So I think the audio Bible in the mother tongue, and it's not just audio in another language, it's mm -hmm. in your own language. Mm -hmm. The audio Bible in their mother tongue, their heart language, is really, really, really making an impact in the communities. Yeah, yeah, and you know, it's it's amazing that we are talking about this because sometimes I think that we've come to a point where we are just comfortable where we are, and and so it's just me, myself, and my family. That's just it. But can we just look beyond that? Can we just look beyond that and? It's God didn't just call us for we ourselves and our families. He called us for everybody. That's why he every the scripture he says you love your neighbor as yourself. It means you love your family as yourself. It means you love yourself as yourself. He says love your neighbor, the person next door, and that person next door needs to hear the word. You don't even know when, how long that person has. And these people are in the communities, in the villages, in that small town, and they need to hear who Jesus is. And so whatever you have. 
Yeah, and this testimony is also a reminder to us that, you know, people, life is short. I mean, yeah. you don't know when somebody would go. Yeah. And that person might just be alive because the gospel has not reached them yet. Mm -hmm. You know, so if, if the Lord has not come yet, people are dying every day. Mm -hmm. and they are dying in their sin so yeah. the agency is on us as christians the bible says we should go to all nations mm -hmm. so we we there's there's an agency to what we are doing it's like people's people's lives are um running out without them hearing the gospel of jesus christ mm -hmm. without them you know giving their lives to christ mm -hmm. so we need to do a lot we need to, you know, step up and and support the vision, support the ministry, so that we can send more of these Bibles into the communities where they have not heard the name of Jesus yeah. Christ, where they don't even know that there is someone called Jesus. You know, they are comfortable with what they have. Mm. It's not like the gospel has been presented to them and they have made an option to remain with their idol worship or whatever worship they yeah. are in many people have not heard and so whatever religion they are in is all they have until we That's present true. the gospel to them in the in the simplest form that they can understand they wouldn't even know that there is a man called jesus so i think that if you are out there and you are hearing us please come on board and support us so that we can send the gospel out there to all these places so that people can hear the word of God in their language and their lives will be transformed. And you know, it's amazing. I also love what Theovision is doing. The fact that you guys also don't just go there and then give them audio Bible. You go with things. You go with clothes, food, and yes. all those things to support it. And it just reminded me of the scripture where the Bible says that Jesus went about healing the sick and all that. And right after that, he started preaching. And you realize that the crowd started flowing. Because sometimes the crowd, they are hungry. Yeah. They need to yeah. eat. And so yeah. before you give them the message of Jesus, you have to feed them before you give them. And that's what right. you are doing as well well and right. for me it's amazing so please whatever you have this afternoon what we are saying is that whatever you have just send it to these numbers mommy so you can send it to the mtn mobile money number 0246 292 mtn 0246 292 we also have a vodafone cash number which is 0200 one one eight 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 seven zero two zero zero one one eight 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 seven. Thank you so much. And if you're saying that, okay, I want to hear this audio Bible. Let me see. Let me find out what how it sounds like. This one is for you. Yes, it is for you. Who wants to hear? Yeah, when you move your groove, if you share to me, you know, no beer and to me on Sunday. Be free, na chief be can at the no mio. Na a mumwa ni moje gruno try. A yesu can say. Why no kami? Na won na el sino. Petro can say. Oh ra. Nkrofu eku eku no achiro so. No miao. Na yesu se. Obia kami. Na mahunu sa hua din be a fri bi muko. No ba no hunu se wen huntano. Or the Hupo Babashi in the name, no can at the Kodia in Tioko can no, Nisad and Husani no, a mumuha no chreno, or mina and him. No catcheno say. O Baba, would you dear Jonka? Passum Gim. I lay your work alone in Yenu, Momoja at the Dutun Avre Brunio. Now is that she is Gamuala, one in cinema as no kwa be bia la angura ya ile ya obor modun o le jesus sense na obara o sa o han yetra de ne anu a na kani ala moja ne pele na jesus bizalke one ever o sa hamla be bia la zale na pita zalke ya mne ejimani evni ya ba shire zo pale na jesus zalke e bi ever o sa hame oluake me di minu ke tumi vi minu eho ya ne munike of your nwa onya boy 
Yimo ti obale a wwa zure owe dure do jise sa jaka nu. Na wak pali ye jokene a wwa dani vye yin wwa mani e wula ni enyu nu. Na wak hanadye mo yimo ti obale o se o hanye. Ne o wun mo eza. Eka ni alala no kon. Jise ze le ke. Mere gale. Wo die die li wangwan. Kwa azun julo nu. Sunny 88.7 FM. Your radio connection for music, inspiration and information.
feel like you can't make it you are tired you have done it all God is saying that's one more step just believe and believing we know that you're also preparing to also give to the reach campaign and so hey whatever you have just send it to 0246 292-091-0246-292-091 or 0200-118-887-0200-118-887 We'll take a testimony and this is um, also because somebody heard of the audio Bible. Yes. In Sogakope, everybody lived in fear of a notorious fetish priest called Kweku Pra. I feared in the Kweku. I was busy with the cutting. Two, two men, two men now. I mean, young for Nige. Okay. And the Kaklaku. Where the Kweku? He usually had the cop baby a head in fan. Who dear to you? Who dear you? A pia who breaka? He di di pa hu no ama. Okay. Di pa waka baby. Okay. And he di chichi me. Mais the fellow, my fellow, one is so. A ja, my cook cooks too will be me and sir. No more than the suppressive will buy a chain. The suppressing in the castle will see me in chain. My decisions will make my son know about you. The room fee. The major true. Pressing you, respect our magistrate to a way bus. So to me, she's ready as you shall cause a man. Now we see a boy, Cassie. I call out 
Peter is now born again and a child of God. Heaven rejoices and we rejoice with other believers of what God has done. We are glad to know that what we are doing through the audio Bible is leading lost souls to Jesus Christ and is transforming lives. We thank God and our partners who have supported us to bring salvation to Peter and many others like him. Positive Soul Food right here on Sunny 88.7 FM and I am short of words because I, I just wish, um, Stephen, that people can actually watch this video Yeah. because it's a different feeling altogether when yeah. you get to watch yeah. the man, uh, he talking about all these things that he used to do back in the day and now he's born again. Yeah. The feeling is different. It is, it is. Wow, I don't even know what to say, but Stephen, this man, how did he even hear of the audio Bible in the first place? So, the audio Bible came into the, we didn't even know he was there. The audio Bible was sent to the community and we had trained a facilitator and they had begun their listening sessions. So, apparently, he wasn't getting his business the way because people stopped mm -hmm, going mm -hmm. to him so yeah. he okay. was wondering what was happening and okay. upon finding out he realized a group had started in the community so he was bent on going there to i mean see what they were doing and then if possible end it some way somehow because mm -hmm. there was history of him uh, people coming there, missionaries, churches coming there to start church, and then he would um, find a way of ending it. Wow. So people go there, they start ministries, and the ministries don't survive. So he went, but sitting there, I mean, hearing the things that were, I mean, the the scriptures that were being read through the audio Bible, he went and then sat down listened and then went home without doing anything so the next time okay. he came back and one meeting became another and eventually mm. he started asking questions you know and i mean god had begun a process a seed had been sown in his heart so yeah. eventually he became a regular member and the community was shocked because he had been a fetish priest for 40 years. Wow. Wow. No, 40 years, basically all his life. So a lot of people knew him. A lot of people knew him. And we thank God that Peter eventually gave his life to Christ. He denounced his gods and confessed everything he did when he was a fetish priest. And as people... Um, all of us heard he was talking about killing people yeah, and yeah. I mean, unspeakable things but by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ the Holy Spirit convicted him the words he heard in his mother tongue yeah. you know Bible says that the, the word of God is sharper mm -hmm. than a two edged sword so God's word transformed his life and peter is now born again as we speak he has bent all his idols all the the you know the charms and all those things he's bent everything he's been baptized and he's now a newborn christian mommy give us the number because this one the lives have been transformed by the audio bible mommy Please share the number with us again. Okay, 
Yes, so you can send your support to the MTN mobile money number 0246-292-091. 0246-292-091. Or you can also send it to the Vodafone Cash Line 0200-118-887. 0200-118-887. Right now, we are at 2000. 100 Ghana CDs. Thank you. Thank you so much. 100 Ghana CDs. And um, I'll say a quick thank you to Isaac, Lydia, Tracy, Mercy, Kita, Vinolia, Isaac, Alberta, Elizabeth, Esther, Innocent, Teresa, Aretta, uh, Cecilia, Claude, Emmanuel, Ruth, Marjorie, uh, Chroma, Gifty, Atta, and Rosemary, thank you all so much. God thank you, you, thank you, thank you. So to get our first Bible listening group, mm -hmm. we're still looking at 2,100 Ghana cities more. Okay. 2,100 Ghana cities more. And with that, if we can get 21 people sending in 100 Ghana cities, okay. we'll be able to cross our first Bible listening group. Okay. Or if we can get uh, about seven people sending 300 Ghana CDs. Okay. Or we can also get 100 people sending 21 Ghana CDs. So wherever okay. you find yourself, no matter how little or small that you have, um, you can definitely send in any amount, 10 CDs, 5 CDs, 100, 1,000, 2,000. Um, just know that whatever you send is going towards supporting the work of God and for saving lives with the audio Bible. Thank you, Mame. And you know, before I, I do anything, please give us the number again because this 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 testimony is so emotional. You know, listen, number of people this this person has died, and probably they didn't even hear the word of mm. God. You know, and 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 then he he gets the opportunity to hear the word of God. It's it's such a blessing. That he gets to hear the word of God and it's in his own mother tongue and it has transformed his life. And one thing that Stephen said that I love is the Holy Spirit convicting him. Meaning the Holy Spirit is not a man restricted to language. You can't restrict him to language. He, he speaks every language and when he's convicting you, he comes in the form that he knows that you will understand. And that is why these audio Bibles are very important. So mommy, please give the numbers out okay. again. So you can send your support this afternoon to the MTN number 0246-292-091. 0246-292-091. Or you can send it to our Vodafone cash number, which is 0200-118-887. 0200-118-887. Please, we have just um, two minutes to go. So. Right, so... It's day 10 of the REACH campaign on uh, Positive Soul Food, the afternoon show. We have been able to raise 2,300 Ghana CDs. Okay. Thank you all so much. God bless you. Yes. But it's, I mean, we are off air, but it doesn't mean that the campaign has ended. Yeah. You can still send in your donation anytime from now till um, the Sunset Drive. Yeah. Uh, just remember that the MTN number is 246 292 Or you can also send it to the Vodafone cash number 0200 And don't forget to tell a friend if you've already sent your donation. Tell your friends, tell your family. Uh, tell your colleagues at work or your church members as well, especially churches. Um, advocate for this reach campaign. Advocate for yeah. the need for the audio Bible and the establishment of the Bible listening groups and get everyone on. Remember the number is 0246-292-091 or Vodafone Cash. 0200-118-887 0200-118-887 This has been Positive Soul Food right here on Sunny 88.7 FM Throwback Tuesday edition My name is Baba Okran and I'll catch you tomorrow Thank you for giving, we really appreciate you and like I always say, bye bye for now
this is day one of the REACH campaign. Day one has been so great. We've been able to raise almost nine Bible listening groups for day one. We just want to say a big thank you to all of you who have been supporting, giving, those of you who are considering to give. We are even saying thank you to you. We know that the Lord himself will shower you with the blessings that you need to be able to send us to the unreach areas with God's word in their heart language. God richly bless you and stay tuned for the REACH campaign. Jesus, now, Papa, over to you.